In our third and final video, we'll be discussing the voicemail applications built into the telephone. Uh, your voicemail button is located right here. When you press that, it will launch the visual voicemail application on the device. You also up here have a voicemail indicator, which will light up red when you do have a new message waiting. Um, the first time you go in to set up your mailbox, we actually like you to use a code that can be customized on the system, but the default is star 17. So I'm going to walk you through that real quick. So I'm going to dial star 17. Welcome to a Baya IP office. For help at any time, press star H. Please enter extension and pound key. If you're logging into your mailbox from your own phone, you can simply hit the pound key right now. If you're doing this from another location, you would need to put in your extension number. In this case, I'm just going to hit pound. Enter password and pound key. You'll now need to put in the password set up on your phone. This will be provided to you by the system administrator. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the default password. As you use a VIA IP office, your name will be included in system announcements that you and other people will hear. Press 1, and at the tone, please speak your name. After speaking your name, press 1 again. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the instructions provided. I'm going to press 1. Joe Falleri. Joe Falleri. To re-record your name, press 1. To approve, press pound. I'm going to go ahead and improve, approve that. Joe Falleri. 1. New. Message. At this point, I can go ahead and disconnect that voicemail session. The main thing there is just to get your name recorded on the device. That's important because if I were to call you and you didn't at least have your name recorded, um, I would hear the system's generic uh, message that would just tell me the extension number that I called and that it was unavailable. At this point, now at least a caller to your extension when they get to your voicemail will hear your recorded name. Once you go through that initial step, you can start using your voicemail button here to access your mailbox. So we're going to go ahead and push that button. It's going to ask me for the password. This is going to be the same password we just used a moment ago. Again, should be provided to you by your system administrator. And once I put that password in, it launches our visual voicemail interface. The first thing I see here is listen, and that's my personal mailbox. And it says listen 1 slash 0 slash 0. That's telling me that there is one new message zero old messages and zero saved messages in my mailbox. So I can use my arrow pads if I want to scroll around and select things by pressing the button in the middle here, or I can simply press the button located next to whatever I want to select. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my new messages. I can see that I have one new message. It was left for me at 11 o'clock or 11.07 a.m. And at this point, if I wanted to, I could hit play. This is a test message for extension 555. Now once I play that message, you'll notice my voicemail uh, waiting light went out because I do not have any additional new messages in my mailbox, and I'm presented with some options on the bottom of the display here. I can go back out to my uh, main inbox there. I can play it again. I can hit more, and I could delete it. I can save it. I can send a copy of it to another voicemail user, and if I hit more again, it's going to take me back to that initial uh, menu there. So I'm going to hit back and you'll notice after I listen to a message it moves it to my old mailbox. So it'll sit there for 30 days. If I do not delete it the system will automatically erase it. So if you do really want to hold on to a message make sure that after you play it you go ahead and hit more, hit save. Now if I go back out you'll see it moved it to my saved messages and it will sit there until I go in and I actually delete it manually. So now I have no new messages. So that's kind of how you manage your mailbox. Now, you may be a member of a group, and you may have a group mailbox. If you, if you were a member of a group, you would see the name of the group listed right below Listen, and then the mailbox itself for that group mailbox would work the exact same way as your personal mailbox. Um, so if you are a member of a group, look for that. It may show the name of that group there, um, and that would be a shared mailbox potentially between several users. Going down, we've got message. This is not very commonly used. I'm going to talk about it briefly. This basically allows you to go into your mailbox, record a message, and send it to another voicemail user. So I can go in here. I can hit record. Hey, this is Joe. Give me a call when you get a moment. Thanks. I'm going to hit stop. And now I can hit send to. I can pick the user that I want to send it to. I can hit add. I could always add another user here if I wanted to, but if I just wanted to send this to one person, I could hit send, and I just sent that recorded message to that person. 
I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel at this point, and that's going to bring me back out here. So greeting, we've already recorded our name on our mailbox, which is good, uh, but I might want the person to hear more than just my name and I want to give them a greeting. That's where you set this. This is where you set that up. So I'm going to go into my greeting. I'm going to hit record. You've reached the desk of Joe. I'm unavailable. Please leave a message. I'm going to hit stop. If I messed it up and I want to do it again, I can hit record and record over that. If I hit listen, it'll play it back to me. If I'm happy with it, I can go ahead and hit submit and I would be all set. If I just wanted to erase it completely, I can hit delete, cancel, take me back out to that main menu. So I'm going to go ahead and submit that. And now my greeting has been successfully added to the system. Passcode allows me to change my voicemail password. So that password we entered to get into our mailbox. If you go in here, you're going to, you're going to first need to enter your current password. So again, enter the password that you just used to get into your mailbox. Hit done. And now I can go ahead and create a new one. And now I've just changed my voicemail password. So pretty easy. Scrolling down, if your system administrator has put your email address into the system, you will see this option available on your phone. Um, we have four different options to choose from right now. Well, here, let's go here. Off would be one. So uh, if I do not want my voicemail messages to be sent to my email inbox, then I can set it to off. When your email messages do show up, that is a WAV file, so an audio file that you can listen to. Copy, that leaves a copy of that voicemail message on my phone and, and, and sends a copy of it to my email inbox. So um, that'll put it in both places. Forward is going to tell the system to not even store the message at all on my phone and send it to email and email only. Hitting change again sets it to alert. Alert um, With alert, the voicemail message is stored on the device, on the phone, and it'll send you an email telling you ha you have a new message, but it will not actually send you the message. Change again, and once you make your setting however you want it, you can go ahead and hit save, and then you're good. I'm going to go back in here. The last option you'll see here is on or off for the voicemail, so you have the ability to turn your voicemail off. I would say best practice is not to shut your voicemail off. Leave it on. You know, if you're going on vacation or something, uh, you don't want to shut your voicemail off. You still want that message to pick up and, and take that message for you. But this is where you could go in here and uh, change that message. One other thing I'd like to tell you about in greeting here. So I have the ability in here, again, to record my primary greeting, greeting number one. Some people do like to manage multiple greetings. So the system will store up to nine different greetings and you can activate them for, for different things. But the visual voicemail application here only gives me to my pr access to my primary greeting. So if you do want to manage multiple greetings, you can always use that star 17 method to get back into the voicemail system, to uh, log in that way, and then follow the prompts really when you're in there. It's pretty simple. Um, there'll be an option for greetings. It's option three. And then I'll ask you what greeting number you want to manage, record it, all that fun stuff. So um, that's really about it. Visual Voicemail is just designed to give you a quick, easy way to get to the most common features that you use in your mailbox. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, we will talk to you soon.